What's next? Okay, so we have this lamppost, right? I think lampposts are normally black, right? So I think I'm gonna do that same gray that I did his hair with. Sure, I get underneath there. Uh, yeah. here sticking out. Okay. Alright, so now we need to get the bottom half of this. Okay, or the technically the top half. So again, we're gonna keep it black. Um, where the light would shine through, I think I'm gonna put make that white because it'd be see-through normally. Um, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit. Oh, okay, no, I'm just gonna make a mess. So never mind.
you get a little bit closer to me so I can see without making a giant mess. I think I need to get my nicer brush now because I gotta get close to Hulk's hand on the bottom and I gotta get close to his pants on the top. I really am regretting not painting this before attaching it to him. So uh, there you go, learn from my mistakes. Uh, paint the lamppost before you attach to the Hulk. It's going to make your life easier. If you want to do this. I thought about putting the garbage can in his other hand, um, but I kind of want it smashed and... Right, because Hulk would smash it. He wouldn't just be holding a garbage can. And the lid's on it. Like, will the lid actually stay on? No. Okay, just gotta get this side. Okie dokie. Alright, I gotta touch up that spot on his leg. Where I got the purple. Got that. Anything else that needs to be touched up with green? Oh yeah, part of his lips. I went over. And I'm putting my hand on the f man, I swear, right on the light post. Okay. So, for concrete, what I've been doing, and for cement, um, I've been painting it a light gray. Okay, so for concrete, I've been, or for the cement, like uh, on the base, I've been doing a light gray, west proof gray, or westport gray, and then um, putting a wash on it so it gets all in the cracks and it kind of gives it a dirty look, and then I come back over with westport gray again, westport, westport, and I just do like a really, like I get it wet and I just dry it, like brush it out till it dries out and it kind of looks like worn out concrete. It looks pretty good. Um, for rocks and like boulders that look like they've fallen from buildings and stuff like that, I've been painting them white and then just doing a black wash on them and just leaving them like that. So I think these rocks up here, I'm going to do that white on. 
because it's ripped just right out of the concrete, right? So they wouldn't be worn out and be more like a broken rock look, I guess. Um, and probably for this rock down here too that I put on the base. Um, the rest I'm going to do uh, that Westport gray. Um, and then I haven't painted a um, sewer cover yet. Probably gonna go with like a brownish and then I have like a copper metal paint um, that I could use on it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that yet. I might have to play around with that one um, a bit before I get it figured out, but um, yeah, let's, uh, no, wait, let's finish this lamppost thing here. Get a little bit more white on here, because I'm going to need a lot to get in all these cracks and everything like that, so. Oh, my brush suit. For the steel rebarb. I don't know what I'm doing with that. And hopefully you guys kind of feel like I did on this, um, with putting this lamp post in his hand. It just feels more Hulk to me. I, and I said this at the beginning, but again, my, my mic wasn't working. But, like, the minute, the, the figure before was just him standing getting ready to punch, which, sure, I guess the Hulk would punch someone. I mean, he would, right? He'd punch someone, but... If he had the chance to rip a lamppost out and hit him with that instead, I feel like he'd do that instead. Instead of just punching someone with his fist. So I wanted to add it. I think it looks cool. Um, hopefully you agree. And maybe it didn't have to be a lamppost. There are the light things and uh, I don't know what other terrain part. I mean, really, you could come up with any kind of street type terrain that you can find, right? Uh, maybe at a miniature store or something like that or a hobby store and go with that, but, um, I used what I had available, obviously. Threw some rocks on it, and then threw the rebar on per my son's request. My eight-year-old son's request. Because he said, whenever they pull out, a, pull out stuff out of the ground in a cartoon, it's always got the metal in it, because that's what holds the cement together. It's like, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, I can't believe you knew that, but you're right. So I added it, and I'm glad I did because I like it. I think it does look at make more, look at more realistic. There we go. I think I got all the rocks covered. I probably should just put the big rocks on here first and then add the small rocks after with some glue. I don't know. Whatever. I'm 
want to paint this other white rock here white as well. And these are primed, this is not the color of the rock, um, that way paint will stick to them. They're like weird, like glisteny white rocks I got at the, like, the dollar store. <laughs> um, but it works great for these miniatures for being like boulders and rubble and stuff like that around the board, so. Or on their bases, mostly. those whites dry I'm going to do the um, another coat on the dark gray on the uh, lamp post Look, seriously, I just put my finger in the the white on the rock now too. Like I it's like just my finger has like a freaking magnet to this wet paint. Whatever I've just painted, I will ruin. Them's live too. Cool. I don't know what they're up to tonight. I know this weekend is Renegade Con. Um, I thought about checking that out. I really would like to get into one of the um, learn to play their new Kids on Brooms, which is like their new RPG that's coming out this year that's kind of like Kids on Bikes except it takes place in like a Harry Potter-esque type of world, hence the brooms, and they're doing some playthroughs, but I have no idea how to sign up for events and I was trying to read through it yesterday and I just I don't know, I didn't take the time to get into it, but I think that would be so much fun to get into and learn how to play because I love Kids on Bikes, I've played it once, ever no, twice, I ran it once as a DM and I played it once so, um, I really enjoy that RPG system. It's really simple. Um, you roll a single die, like, depending on what check you're going to use, from a D4 to a D20, and you have, like, a number set. So, like, usually, like, an average check is around, like, a 7, but if you're a wimpy kid who's super brainy, your brawn might, not, might only be a 4. So, if you're trying to, like, pry a door open and it's a 7, Guess what? You ain't gonna be able to do it because you're too weak. Um, but you might have a friend whose brawn is like at a D12 or D20 because they're super strong. They're the jock or whatever, or something like that. And uh, so it really makes people work together. You can't do everything yourself. Um, it's a fun system. It's very simple and so it's really good. Um, and the, the the game I ran, I actually, if you've never seen Rim of the World on Netflix, it's a fantastic movie. I took that movie and I turned it into a one-shot, and it took about three or four hours. And we just played through the movie. And I had fun. I think they said they had fun too, but I, I, I really enjoyed it, so. It was my first time ever running a game as well. Any, DMing any game, so. I enjoyed myself.
Okay. Pull a little bit more weight on the gray I got in here. So now, what do we have left? The base. Usually I do the base after, because um, all the wash are going to come down and I want to cover that up. So, what do we have next? The wash. And again, I'm going to use Nolan Oil. I really hope this isn't too dark. But it should be fine. And we're just going to go crazy with it. We're just going to start the top. See that? Look at his black hair now. Doesn't that look nice? Got some definition. Go down his face. Oh, he's angry now. This is what makes the mini come to life. Like come to life, not live. Um, brush it all over. Get in so you can see the definition of his muscles. And Hulk does have fingernails and stuff too, but I'm going to wait to paint those white until after I've done this wash, just so they are bright white. Um, and they're not black. The inside of his hand too, definitely. Okay, top half's done. Let's get this thing now. over here. There we go. Now I don't have to go cross myself all day long. As you can see like cracks and stuff in the concrete they put in there coming out now.
We want to be systematic about how we do this. We don't want to just jump all over the place. We want to try and work one area at a time, make sure we don't miss any because it'll look funky if you do. Um, okay, so let's finish this area up here. his pants Pants are done, onto his legs and feet. Do it one at a time so we can finish them. There we go, Grey Hulk. <laughs> okay, he's very dark. I know. Um, we're gonna. This is gonna take some time to dry, but as you can see, look at like in his six pack there, how dark it is on the inside or on the the creases and stuff like that. Um, the light post looks great now. That's done, except for the white on the where the light would be. I'm, that's all I'm gonna do on that. Um, I'm going to touch up his eyes, make them white again. I want to paint on some eyebrows. And I'm going to um, paint the rebar, which I guess I can probably do that right now. And uh, I'm, then I'm going to take the, that green again, that same green, and I'm going to do super light and just kind of brush it on super hard and fast. And that'll like do like a painted, like like just lightly cover it again so and it, and I'm not gonna get it in the cracks as best I can I'm gonna try to only get on like the outer kind of like a dry brush right um, that way it highlights that area it's the easiest way to do a highlight really um, but I mean I think that's looking really good I know he looks super dark right now um, but that's what I wanted because you get all that definition you can see like he's not just a big green blob anymore he does have like muscles and 
fingers and toes and stuff like that and toenails so that's gonna make it easier for me to paint the toenails so I'll do that the fingernails and then do the dry brushing and stuff like that um but I think for today I might be done I might actually paint this rebar black while I got this here so I want to do that paint all this rebar and then after it's painted black and dry um, I'm gonna come back Looks like I may have missed a spot of white up here, so let me fix that. Um, so I'm done with that. That way. Okay. Paint the rebar black. I'm gonna come back with like a metallic paint. Paint it metallic, especially on like the broken part, because that's kind of where the metal would show through the most. Piece of rebar done almost. Okay. 
so that you can see the rebar, but it's now black, um, which doesn't look great. But um, as I said, I'm going to come back with this like gunmetal gray here. I want to hit that and it would be nice and shiny and kind of like give a little pop of shine and pizzazz to the top of the mini. Um, make sure that people know it's metal. It's either that or I'm going to give you with like a copper maybe, but um, so it looks kind of rusty. But I think I like the idea of just the the gray, because if I'm making this copper down here, I don't want too much copper or too much gray. So I think that's going to be it for right now. i got to let this dry. Um, and my dog's begging to like go outside and stuff too now. So um, i got to take a little break. It sounds like Christmas music is on anyways for some reason, so I'm going to skip that. Um, I'll make sure I'll, I'll start working on a list of all the paints I used on this and put make sure those are in the description and um, yeah we'll finish this up we just gotta base it and then repaint Hulk and touch up like the white spots and stuff like that not completely repaint him but like dry brush him so but we'll do that once he dries so um, until next time my name's Joe and uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to stop back for part two, or three, or four, or whatever. I, I might split this so it's not like an hour and a half long video. Maybe it'll be a couple videos, or three videos. And then I think we can finish this up in probably another 30 minutes to an hour. So, and have it ready to go for the table. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for us today. So until next time, uh, my name is Joe. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching Down the Mag, guys. Bye.